ڈاکٹر اسکیلٹن کل جو ہم نے بات کی تھی دیٹ واز اباؤٹ مائکرو ٹیبیولس آج ہم بات کر رہے ہیں انٹر میڈیٹ فلامنٹس کے حوالے سے ہیز دا نیم انڈیکیٹس دیز فلامنٹس آر ان انٹر میڈیٹ اسٹرکچرس بٹوین دی ڈفرینٹ سائٹو اسکیلیٹل ایلیمنٹس ایف وی لک ایٹ دیئر پراپرٹیز these are solid as compared to microtubules which were hollow from the central area so these are solid unbranched with the diameter of 10 to 12 nanometer which is almost half the diameter of microtubule microtubule mein humne 25 nanometer ki baat ki thi they are only present in animal cells and uh, they are strong flexible rope like fibers which provide mechanical strength to the cell and uh, uh, make the cell uh, able to withstand with the pressure physical stress that can be applied from the external atmosphere microfilaments or microtubules ki composition ke hawale se agar compare kare to intermediate filaments they are heterogeneous group of structures what that means is مائکرو ٹیوبیولس جو ہیں وہ ہم نے بات کی تھی آر میڈ اپ آف ڈائمرس آف الفا اینڈ بیٹا ٹیوبلین جب کہ انٹرمیڈیٹ فلامنٹس کے کمپوزیشن جو ہے وہ ویریبل ہوتی ہے ابھی ہم آگے چل کے ڈفرینٹ کلاسز پڑھیں گے دین یو ویل ہیو این آئیڈیا اینڈ اراؤنڈ سیونٹی ڈفرینٹ جینس آر انوالو ان ٹرانسلیشن آف دا پروٹینس وچ میکس اپ دی انٹرمیڈیٹ فلامنٹس ان پروٹینس کو جو کہ انٹرمیڈیٹ فلامنٹس بناتی ہیں وی کین کلاسیفائی دیم ان فائیو ڈفرینٹ کلاسز آؤٹ آف دوز فائیو ڈفرینٹ کلاسز کلاس ون ٹو فور دے آر پریزنٹ ان دی سائٹو پلاز ویئر ایز کلاس فائیو از پریزنٹ وچ از لیمنس دس دس از دی دیز آر دی کمپوننٹ آف نیوکلیئر انویلپ وچ لائن دی نیوکلیئر انویلپ as far as their uh, positioning within the cytoplasm is concerned they radiate throughout the cytoplasm and interconnect different cytoskeletal elements like a cross bridge now if you look at this micrograph this red colored structure refers to microtubule and the central green colored structure it refers to intermediate filament and this intermediate filament is linked on one side with the uh, with the uh, other components of cytoskeletal elements like uh, in this picture uh, on both the sides the intermediate filament is connected with the microtubule with the help of or by certain specific cross bridges which are visible in the form of green uh, green in color these green uh, cross bridges they are uh, referred as plectins which are, uh, are uh, a protein uh, made up of two subunits dimeric protein and uh, these dimeric protein plectin uh, can be uh, defined as having two ends one end which is in connection is in contact with the intermediate filament and the other end can be in contact with the intermediate filament it can be in contact with the microtubule it can be in contact with the microfilament so uh, summarizing the structure of or the introduction of this uh, intermediate filaments they are thin as compared to microtubule and uh, they uh, are connected with the other cytoskeletal elements with plectins how we identified that these are the plectins plectin uh, is a protein or usse related is jo antibody hoti hai when you use those اینٹی باڈیز ود فلورسن ٹیگ جیسے یہاں پہ یہ گولڈ ڈاٹس آپ کو ویزیبل ہیں دیز آر دی اینٹی باڈیز وچ آئیڈینٹیفائی دی پریزنس آف پلیکٹن اینڈ دین وی کین آئیڈینٹیفائی دیٹ دس از اے پلیکٹن وچ از کنیکٹنگ دا ٹو سائٹو اسکیلیٹل ایلیمنٹس وین وی کم ٹو دی اسٹرکچرل سب یونٹ آف دی انٹرمیڈیٹ فلامنٹس اسٹرکچرلی وی ہیو دی سب یونٹس and then the building blocks when i will uh, i talk about subunit that means i am talking about the uh, proteins which are involved uh, every polypeptide as you know has a c end and has a 
n terminal and c terminal in case of intermediate filaments two such monomeric or two such polypeptides they make up a alpha helical structure which is referred as dimer because alpha helical structure mein dono proteins ke c terminal ek end ke upar hain dono proteins ke end terminal ek end ke upar hain to hum ye keh sakte hain ki that this dimer is a polar structure because one end is having n terminal the second one is having c terminal but still this is not the uh, building block of uh, this uh, uh, intermediate filament two dimers they come uh, they come together and they make a tetrameric structure and in this position the arrangement is such that uh, both the dimers they are oriented in an anti parallel orientation that means one dimer has its c terminal on one end the other dimer has n terminal on the same end and similarly the first uh, dimer has n terminal on the other end the second one has c terminal on the other end and we can simply say that this tetramer is now non polar structure because polarity has been neutralized now this tetramer is referred as a building block basic building block of the intermediate filaments so monomer dimer they are the structural subunit and tetramer is a building block of uh, the uh, intermediate filaments this uh, tetramer or building block comes together in the form of a group of these uh, tetrameric subunits and we have observed experimentally that such eight tetramers they come together and they align side by side to make up the unit for length of the filament that means what okay. eight molecules of such tetramer they will uh, align themselves side by side and then these uh, these subunits or this unit of length Uh, will polymerize in such a way that they will bind with each other uh, end to end so that the uh, this uh, microfilament sorry this intermediate filament can grow in length and in this way the intermediate filaments can achieve uh, the length as they desire or uh, based on the shape of the cell then uh, regarding the polymerization unlike the microtubule and uh, the microfilaments jin mein hame polymerization ke liye gtp ki ya atp ki zarurat hoti hai uh, intermediate filaments they do not need any kind of energy source their uh, subunits they directly come and then they arrange themselves uh, to make up uh, this uh, uh, intermediate filament structure then in initially when uh, uh, it was uh, under study about the structure and uh, uh, polarity and other stuff of the intermediate filaments it was believed that uh, these are uh, permanent structure due to the reason that when you uh, the scientists treated the uh, cells with ionic detergents ionic detergents are normally the detergents jo ke uh, proteins ko dissolve kar dete hain aur uh, इस ट्रीटमेंट के बाद इट वाज फाउंड दैट इंटरमीडिएट फिलामेंट्स दे वर नॉट डिसॉल्व्ड एंड साइंटिस्ट बिलीव दैट दे आर परमानेंट स्ट्रक्चर बट लेटर ऑन व्हेन दे डिड सम एक्सपेरिमेंट्स यूजिंग सेल कल्चर एंड यूजिंग द लेबल्ड प्रोटीन लेबल्ड प्रोटीन्स दे इंजेक्टेड और दे इंसर्टेड इन दी इन दीज सेल्स दे फिगर्ड आउट दैट द प्रोटीन्स दे रिप्लेस द existing micro uh, intermediate filaments and it was uh, quite different for them that uh, the newly added uh, protein newly added uh, uh, structures they were not adding up at the end of the molecule which is normal uh, normally seen in case of microtubule ke jo polymerization hai that takes place on one end of the molecule rather it was observed ke jo aapne experimentally uh, labeled protein insert ki hai it went and it incorporated itself somewhere in the in in the inside of the molecule in the middle of the molecule that uh, gave us an idea that uh, these uh, structures they are uh, not static they are dynamic structure 
and uh, their uh, uh, their uh, units of length they their uh, uh, their subunits of construction the tetrameric subunit can be replaced uh, within the cell as and when required now if we talk about the example you might have heard about the keratin protein you might have heard about uh, the vimentin desmin protein and so many other proteins these are all example of intermediate filaments keratin jo hai this is component of epithelium the skin the skin which comes up up the over the base of the uh, or root of the nail uh, they are the keratin proteins these are basically examples of intermediate filaments then you have studied about the neuronal cells neuronal cells mein jo uh, proteins hain nfl nfm and nfh these are uh, the intermediate filaments which are found in uh, the axon of uh, the uh, neurons and uh, it runs parallel to the inter, uh, this microtubule and like if this red color is shown uh, with the microtubule then we can simply uh, observe that uh, there are present in parallel the intermediate filaments and as i mentioned these are cross linked by certain plectins then there are this class 5 lamin proteins which are part of the nuclear envelope besides uh, this class 5 protein all the other four classes they belong to the uh, cellular cytoplasmic proteins this figure is just to show you that how the uh intermediate filaments they interact with the microtubules you can take a look here that this pink structure these are basically referring the intermediate filaments on one end they are extended in the cytoplasm somehow they interact uh with the microtubule or uh, some other structures in the uh, cytoplasm but their origin we can uh, look they are connected with the डेस्मोसोम्स इफ यू रिमेंबर दी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन उसमें हमने बात की थी दैट डेस्मोसोम्स दे आर प्रेजेंट इन द सेल सेल मेम्ब्रेन व्हिच इज रिस्पांसिबल फॉर अटैचमेंट ऑफ द टू एडजेसेंट सेल्स सो वी कैन सी दैट दीज आर द डेस्मोसोम्स फ्रॉम वेयर द इंटरमीडिएट फिलामेंट्स आर राइजिंग एंड दे आर गोइंग थ्रू द दिस साइटोप्लाज्म इंटरैक्टिंग विद द अदर साइटोस्केलेटल एलिमेंट्स so this is a brief uh, understanding of uh, the intermediate filaments and these are uh, non polar structure if you have any question you can ask please so the intermediate filaments plant cell mein nahi aate to fir unme kya ha unme animals mein hote hain haan ji अब देखें दो चीजें हैं इनका फंक्शन अगर हम रिलेट करें तो प्लांट सेल को इंटरमीडिएट फिलामेंट्स की जरूरत नहीं है बिकॉज दे हैव एक्सटर्नल हार्ड स्ट्रक्चर सेल वॉल तो प्लांट सेल्स को जो है वो एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर की जो है वो इतनी जो है वो जरूरत पेश नहीं आती कि उसके इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर होने चाहिए टू विद स्टैंड एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर ड्यू टू दट्स आउटर मोस्ट कवरिंग जहाँ तक साइटोस्केलेटल एलिमेंट्स की बात है तो इनकी जगह पे कुछ और स्ट्रक्चर्स लाइक माइक्रोफिलामेंट्स मौजूद होते हैं विद इन द्लांट सेल्स विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन सेलुलर ट्रांसपोर्ट अभी अगर इंटरमीडिएट फिलामेंट के फंक्शन को रिलेट करें मैं आगे जब माइक्रोफिलामेंट के फंक्शन के साथ और माइक्रोट्यूब्यूल के फंक्शन के साथ रिलेट करेंगे देन यू विल गेट एन आइडिया दैट माइक्रोट्यूब्यूल्स आर इन्वॉल्व इन कार्गो ट्रांसपोर्टेशन and uh, microfilaments are involved in cargo transportation uh, besides its role in the muscle contraction intermediate filaments they are not directly involved in uh, this activity their most important function is to support the cell from inside 